New regulations are coming into Canada with some massive changes and some crazy realizations. If you're a vapor in Canada, you're going to want to hear this. Now, let's roll the intro. New regulations are being proposed for vaping in Canada, and it's weird because a lot of these things are already put in play. They want to make sure products containing nicotine between 0.1 mg and 10 mg are labeled accordingly. This is a practice that's already been put in place since labels started being regulated last year. All of the bottles in our stores already have the ingredients listed, warning labels, and it all comes in a childproof packaging. These are all changes that they've been proposing, so I guess the industry is one step ahead. Their next step for regulations is limiting the amount of nicotine that can be in a vaping substance or e-liquid. They want to ban e-juice from having nicotine contents higher than 66 milligrams per milliliter because it becomes very toxic when ingested at that concentration. If you were to vape this, this would also be a terrible experience. The closest product that I've seen coming to this number is Jewel Pods, which come at a ridiculous 59 milligram per milliliter, scarily close to the 66 milligram. Now that I've brought Jewel into the picture, there's something fishy going on with these new regulations and pre-filled pod systems. The government seems to love these pre-filled and closed pod systems. They're finally approving of something related to vaping, which seems awesome, right? Well, maybe not. Here's where things are getting fishy. They're proposing that every vaping device, part, or substance needs to be child resistant. Now while chubby gorilla bottles are child resistant, they believe that all the refillable devices that we know and love aren't. The government believes they either need to be removed entirely or completely redesigned to be child resistant. Now while I do agree with this to an extent, I do also believe that most of the responsibility comes to the end user to make sure that it doesn't get into the hands of a child. They estimate that these changes will cost a monstrous $6.7 million to the industry in the first year. While they also state that it won't have any significant impact on consumers, this could mean that existing tanks and pods may no longer be available to consumers as they don't comply with the new regulations. This is going to limit the amount of new products we'll see in the market and may also cause a price increase due to the cost of these new regulation changes. Now because these pre-filled and closed pod systems are designed to be thrown away instead of being refilled, they get a complete pass. Now Big Tobacco has been investing very heavily into closed pod systems like Juul and Vipe over the last few years. It seems like they're going to be the ones benefiting the most off of these new regulations, trying to push out the little guys. And knowing Big Tobacco, this doesn't shock me at all. This is probably going to bring a lot of hardships to the industry as Big Tobacco starts taking over more and more and starts adding more disposable products which in turn is just going to add more waste to our planet. Cigarette butts already make up a huge portion of the litter that we see every single day and wait, how are cigarettes packaged again? A thin cardboard box with easy access to grab your cigarettes. Pick one up and light it with any source of fire, heating element, or a magnifying glass. Now tell me, how many times have you heard of someone's pet eating their cigarettes, seeing a baby chew on someone's cigarettes, or seeing kids picking up half-smoked cigarettes off the grounds or one that are even still lit? I think we all knew someone growing up that would even take cigarette butts off the ground, break them apart and roll up their own. I guess that's child resistant enough though. I guess they just assume that most of the responsibility is put into the end user to prevent it from getting in the hands of a child. I want to hear what you guys have to say about the new vaping regulations. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know about all of our latest videos, updates and giveaways. And don't forget to follow us on social media so you can get the latest updates on everything Flamingo. My name's Cam and I'll see you in the next one.